Hey guys, welcome back. We are here today trying out Tireless Tribe, but with a difference with, of course, Modern Horizons 3 cards. Let's see how Sneaky Snacker can compete in Tribe in this meta. Let's dive right in. So guys, as you can see here, we are trying Tireless Tribe and I've built the list up a little bit different. We've got four Sneaky Snacker. Which is obviously quite useful as you don't we don't have any way of casting it so we have to either discard it with the modern age or discard it with tireless tribe which i ultimately think's fine i don't think that's not enough ways to discard it um i'm intrigued in how this list will perform basically we've accommodated a squadron hawk on the brainstorm package uh with circular logic and strands and deep analysis as we're used to with tireless tribe to effectively um support sneaky snacker in the modern age which is an alternate win condition because the deck does struggle with other ways of winning but the big downside for this deck which i'm conscious of is there is no wedding invitation and there is no shadow rift so there is no way of uh winning the game unblockable bar escape tunnel so that is something to keep in mind while doing that my only thing is i kept the mana base basically the same as the popageddon list but i feel like the land the jeskai landscape will probably be better than ash barons but again, I could be wrong. I guess the big difference is if you have Island and Ash Barons, you can still play your Tireless Tribe on two if you like your draw into the Ash Barons. But overall, I'm un unsure. So I'm excited to see how this deck works. We've only got three Spell Pace and three Circular Logic as protection in the main board. But hopefully it should be good enough. Moving on to the sideboard here. I've got the exact same sideboard, I believe, as the pop again list bar the... Um, I've changed... The Lauren's escape your blacksmith skill because it's target permanent, so it can hit its protection against uh, Thermocast and Acid Moss. And then other than that, I think the only other change is that I have an extra strands because the original list ran three, and I couldn't fight fit room for Snacker. But so essentially, you've got prismatic strands for the um, like go wide decks or, or protection, you know, red base decks to protect this when you're going off. Uh, after that, we've got the four Hydro Blast, but we've got three Hydro Blasts and a uh, Blue Metal Blast. Then we've got two Swirling Sandstorms and a Flare and Pain, and then the Snow Cover Mountain in the side. Um, fairly straightforward. For those that don't know the combo, though, ultimately the combo is Tireless Tribe with Inside Out. So Tireless Tribe says, this kind of card, someone gets plus up, uh, this card gets plus up as four. Then Inside Out switches the power and toughness around. So... That also works with, so see if you do Tribe, then this, then Discard, it still it still pumps the power as opposed to the toughness. So this becomes an X1. Um, and then usually you just attack for a bunch by discarding a bunch of cards. Whiteout basically is a card that you're not going to cast. It's Discard, gives plus or plus 4 to the Tireless Tribe, and then you can sacrifice a Snowland, which obviously you were running Snowlands as your mana base, to return this to your hand. So you can just sack a land, give this plus or plus 4 in the, in the long run. Um, yeah. So that's that. That's the deck tech, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you do want to play this deck um, and rent it like I do, check out Mana Traders. And yeah, you can use my code in the description for 10% uh, off for the first two months. I'll see you guys there. Peace. Hey, guys. Welcome back here to round one. We are on, on the player. We can keep this hand. We have Tribe on one. Hi. Imagine if we draw it inside out and just turn two of them here. That would be absolutely fantastic. Oh, is if they're playing a black deck, they could be playing Snuff Out. No! Which is half the reason why uh, Tribe's actually reasonable right now. Is because of the lack of Snuff Out. I want to play the Modern Age. I don't know what they're playing. So, I'm going to attack for one. I'll play the Modern Age. If they snuff the Tireless Tribe out, they snuff the Tireless Tribe. Black. Oh, they're playing Dredge. Is this? <sighs> Imagine if I just drew the inside out. Yeah, this would look like they're playing Dredge. Draw a card. Discarding, probably. Hmm. I guess probably the no. I, we want the dis. We want the counters. Probably the Ash Barons, right? Even though it's a brainstorm shuffle, I think I'm fine with that. 
Because this moment in time, I only really care about finding an inside out. So they've got a haunting my own hand. I play a branchwood prowler. Exum, scrapwork, and nod to the bone. Sure. That's F6. Circular logic. Mm. I guess I just discard a spell pace at this point. Play an island. Do I brainstorm now? No, I'll probably just pass. And I'll hold up circular logic and then brainstorm into turn. I think that seems fine. Uh, Nought of the Bone is a concern because we aren't an infinite combo deck. We are a finite combo deck. So we need them to be... Like, we can only deal so much damage. Which is something to be aware of. Yes. So we're really going to look for uh, Escape Tunnel. Ulamog's Crusher. Wood! Are they playing the Haunted Mayor? They've milled no, la they've milled no lands. So they're playing the Haunted Mayor. Are they going to attack for two? Yep. Makes sense. So we'll yield to the next end step. I could block and discard a card, but I feel like I really don't want to. Hylus Tribe, we probably don't need a second one, but... Um, so I'll brainstorm lock now. So I guess we go white out Hylus Tribe. And we're just going to play lands. So we may as well put the Tylus Tribe on top because we're going to play it. Like, might as well. There's no reason not to. The 2 3 obviously keeps the Prowlers back. We've got double circular logic, then we're going to draw the white out. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have got rid of the Ash Barons. Clearly punished. Generous end, sure. There's the red sauce to bring back the scrapwork mod. Um. I think I'm, I have to let this go and I just have to try and counter the important stuff, like, are they going to discard, okay, that's actually fine by us, so they're going to discard a, I think we did, so we're going to draw, then pass, I probably should have also attacked for two, but it'll be okay. We're going to draw an inside out or a draw spell here, hopefully. We're going to paint four mana here. They've got seven creatures, so they're probably going to cast um, Red Return, tying a Crusher. So I'm just going to hard cast this. They're probably going to flash it back as well. Which I think I would circular logic if they did. I'm going to draw an inside out. Snacker. I'm going to attack for two here. Because I can discard both of these. Like I want to discard the snacker anyways. Um, ultimately. So we can double block one of these. Red return again. Boop, boop. I probably should have discarded that. To the madness to make these bigger so they don't attack. If they want to flash it back, that's fine. If I discard here, if I discard, I should have discarded there because they, they definitely don't attack. They're probably not going to attack anyways, but.
A swing with what? Oh, okay. Oh. Swing with one. That makes no sense. I just double block here, and then whichever one they put in front, I then discard the snacker. I probably discard the white out actually. Mm, no, I discard the snacker. So we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We have the escape tunnel for the combo. We have the white out too. We just literally need an inside out. But this post board, uh, this is damage, right? Yeah. The third dread return on a crusher. Six. You have a crusher. You attack again. I'm gonna do this to keep again to keep them off the board. Can we please just get an inside out? Inside out for game. Inside out for game. So I can do here is a sack. Um, so I tap this, I sack this to get this back to my hand. I then get to see an extra card. Squadron Hawk, and I discard the white out. And of course, I discard it, I tap the white source. And what are the chances? Um. And then I'm going to F6. I'm not going to attack. Because I want to block with the Vector Glider, right? I would just like... I would just... Like the... Inside out. 4, 8, 12, 16. Hmm. This also gives me three cards. Which is why I'm, I also want to play it. So they attack here for eight. So I want to annihilate this and four, eight, twelve. I just discard this, take eight. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. Take eight down ten. This gives me another card to see. We don't die to a red return on a lotless giant yet. Or a Exhume on a lot of giant. How many? Three. Now to the bone is quite annoying. So 31. Okay. Oh, yeah. Another squadron hawk. Perfect. That's modern age. Snacker is back. Choose a card to discard. I'm supposed to discard the modern age and then play the squaddy. So Snacker's back. Mod uh Prismatic Stra uh Prismatic Stra and Squadron Hawk get two squaddy hawks here. Okay. And then pass the turn. It's not looking hopeful. We are a bit low on the whole. I couldn't sa uh, sack a land, I don't think. Unearth. Have they got a stinkweed? Yep. As soon as they get two more creatures here, I'm just going to concede. Because now they can dread return. Okay. So we want two strands. Uh, that seems fine. Uh, Dispel doesn't do much. Flare and Pain doesn't do much. I think Swell and Sandstone doesn't do mass amounts. Um, I think our alternate game plan doesn't really work, right?
I guess this spell also works against Not to the Bone. I don't think I want four, threes, probably, uh, twos probably suffice. And strands is probably where we want to be. Right that. So we've got the good old one lander, double. We could keep this hand to try and to get another land here off the brainstorm. Risky because we could brainstorm like ourselves. I think we have to mulligan. Double brainstorm. More likely to keep right. I think I'm supposed to keep this because I'm not going to five. I think I will brainstorm in my turn to try and find a land, sculpt our hand. And then hopefully play the modern age on two. Yeah, that's probably where we want to be. Brainstorm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Squadron Hawk. Trans. Got all these cards that'll be good to uh move away, but oh well. And they get conjure pile on, they're gonna respond with a land cycler here, I'd assume. They do not respond with a land cycler. So we get to see an extra two cards here. And Ash Barons. So let's dis let's put the squadron hawk. Hmm. Yeah, squadron hawk prismatic strands, I guess. And then I think we have to F six here to uh get a white sauce, play the white sauce. Hope they don't have a guy. We very very unlikely them not to have a guy here. So we want to, we want to draw the Prismatic Strands. I think we draw a random card, right? We've already got one Prismatic Strands. Oh, and we get an island, look at that. Oh, let's try. And let's go. Got Sulfurous Mire. So if they don't play a creature here, we can kill them. Three mana. Stinky. Is that just game? So we escape tunnel this inside out combo. Uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one. Four, eight, yeah. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So sack. This can't be blocked. Inside out. Out of nowhere. Five. Nine. Thirteen. Seventeen. Twenty. GG! Let's go out of nowhere! <laughs> oh, this deck's so funny. Uh, yeah. Like how the game I won, I took Snacker out, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not, um, making judgement yet. I'm not making judgement yet. If I could guarantee we're gonna draw two lands, a plains, then an island, I'd keep this hand. But unfortunately we cannot, so we got a mulligan. Uh, I think we can keep this. Do I bottom the white out or do I bottom the island? I'll probably bottom the white out, right? Mm, no, I'll probably bottom the island. We're just going to draw an inside out next turn. Ready? Inside out. Oh well. All's good. All's good. We can, um, we're just going to discard the deep analysis and draw three. Draw two, sorry. 
Get your dude out. Sure. Get your dude out for the lads. Okay. Nor to the born has been put into the bin. There's something to be aware of. With three creatures as well. Uh, five, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. I'm gonna discard the deep analysis anyways, so I might as well attack. Goodbye. And then we've got the win next turn. <laughs> this deck. This deck. Damn, son. Ah, oh, too funny. Uh, so if the player land gain three, is it two? Put like two, four, six, eight. That puts them to 28, but we've got the white out here, so this is an additional eight. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 30. So we can't flash back strands because this is tapped. What you got? What you got? Prowler. Uh -oh. Mill a bunch of stuff. Okay. You got a 2 2. Could they have snuff out? I guess that's their uh, other thing they could have. Do we just go for this though? I think so, right? I'll be blocked. <laughs> they could have snuff out. That's not out of the question. Another escape tunnel. Okay. Like one. The slow roll. The slow roll. Just got this. Have a five one. Got this. Oh, please don't tell me they actually have a card that interacts here. Oh, they're gonna try and write a reunion this. Um Sack. This card. Have they actually got a snuff out here as well? So we're gonna discard this. 17. And discard the Ash Barons for 20. Just in case. Sort of. Let's go! See you guys for round two. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number two. And we are on the draw. We can keep this hand. We don't have a white source for the Tyler's Tribe, but we have a Modern Age. Which we can get a free discard on a Strands for, which is pretty nice. Especially against Mono Red. Okay. So the sooner we get to play as Modern Age, discard the strands, and then find a white source to play a Tireless Tribe, the better. Okay. So we get the Modern Age. Ash Barons is great, so we'll discard the Prismatic Strands here. We've now got a White Sauce. So wait. I feel like they were concerned about, like, Spell Pierce or something. And a Bolt was in the turn. Yep. Makes sense. So with our one land, they play an Epicure.
So there's the combo. Do we discard the ponder here? I th think we discard the ponder. We then brainstorm. Yeah, brainstorm here. Snacker is definitely not its best. We're going to definitely look to combo here. So we want to pitch both of these. Get a white here. Burns. Tribe. Your turn. So we have a strands up. And we can use the other Tyler's tribe to combo. Um, so use this to combo. Use this to play the uh, prismatic strands. Which is pretty relevant. And try and combo next turn. With the shuffle we might even get a... We have a circular logic for protection. We might even find a escape tunnel. Which might be better especially if the... Hold stuff up. So we'll see. Begin the combat. They are going to pass right. I'm guessing. No. Uh, we'll take two. Okie dokie. You can't get many more blockers than that. The herd inside out, Jesus. Jesus. So we need to keep circular logic back for um What do we need to keep circular logic back for? Uh Bushwhacker. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. So maybe you shouldn't have played that land either. I'm probably just gonna pass the turn here. They are stuck on one land still. Here is the bushwhacker as expected. Um, it's an awkward one because I kind of want them to attack all out, but this like doesn't encourage that. This gets to kill a one one. This gets to kill a one two. Though, and we take three. If they do swing all out, but they do not. Deep analysis. I'm just gonna draw two though. I don't need to lose three to uh, do it. I don't think. Uh, that's pretty good going. And I'm just gonna f six. So we have strands back up as sort of protection here. We have squadron hawk to draw us three cards, which fills our hand for tribe. We just need an escape tunnel now. Chain lightning on this. You're lightning bolt? Lightning bolt that. Uh, I think I'm okay with letting that die. So this is fine. If they're then going to swing all out here. Uh, no. I have to leave at least two guys back. Swinging all out. Uh... Three, four, five. We have to block one here, and then okay, just three damage, right? So we take four, and then we don't need the strands. There's no need to, and then we can't more kill them this turn. 
Um, put this on here. And then that's five, nine, uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Or I just get to play a squadron hawk, get three more. Okay. Anyone? Easy. The, the the lack of respect for that combo was actually pretty mental. To be fair. Hydro, Hydro, probably these. Um again not the matchup for Snacker. Probably is it the matchup for Whiteout too? Maybe we're supposed to take them out. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that seems fine. Look at my heel. So let's go. I think this is fine. Because I mean, just get Island here and then Modern Age. And then we can get discard these strands here. I'm going to uh, land cycle now here just so I don't have to F6 through all that rigmarole. They might. We could end up raising this out full, but like it has been it, a lot of mono red has started to run rares because Pons is about, but most likely not going to happen. But could I wonder if they're going to bring in relic for the strands? Let's play the hand that they know about modern age, and then we'll discard the strands. Uh, we get to brainstorm shuffle with brainstorm shuffle with squadron hawk, which I don't hate. And cold author, cold author, blood token. Sure, swing for two down to fifteen. We get a draw discard and other strands. A uh, yeah, escape one's actually pretty good. Discard another strands here. Let's brainstorm. I draw tireless tribe a bunch of lands. So we put this on there, put this there, and put this there. Right? And then we play a land. Squaddy. Yes. Get two more squaddies. Don't need to go three. And then we have Hydro. We can. Next turn, we can look at Tireless Tribe. Tomb Raider is fine. We're probably just going to, if they attack all out, we'll block a Goblin and then Prismatic Strands for Red. Block. Coming on top, white creature. Red. And then they have to play an implement. Okay. Another prismatic strands. Sweet. So we want to play tribe here. Right. Play tribe. Ash Barons for an island. Ash Barons for an island. Play an island. We have Brainstorm Hydroblast up. And then we can... We're hoping... Touch wood. We draw an inside out next turn. With the Brainstorm end of turn. So here we get to triple block three things. And still Prismatic Strands. With a third Prismatic Strands as well. Which is not nothing. We've definitely got a lot of protection. Plus Hydroblast too. So see if the bushwhacker here, we let that go, right? Because they've played a land, so they can't play Flare and Pain. I'm fine with this. So we get to just trade off whatever we want. Sure. We're going to go block. 
block uh, no block block okay flashback this for red Galv blast my two three well, let's I think we brainstorm here to see if I care. So we want to put this back. And then draw this. And then we'll just spell paste it. Same sort to me. And then we can do this for red. No need to waste a. Hydroblast uh, red. So we get to kill this, kill this, kill this, and take nothing. I like it. And then we'll draw our Ash Barons here as well. Yep. Uh, squaddy. Search for the two more squaddies. Do do. So we'll cycle this for probably a planes. Do I play this or do I think I'd play the squadron hawk, right? Yeah, I'm gonna play a squadron hawk. Because I have another prismatic strands, I think that this is fine. Uh Okay. Mm, got three one ones. Let's attack with this one because I'm least likely to block with this if this throws up any trouble, I guess. I'm sure if they're going to attack though. We have got like an aerial force going on and I guess it's probably where the snacker up could come in. Tomb Raider, sure. Galve Blast. Um... No cards in hand. I think I'm okay with this. And then I can just trade these goblins off. I maybe shouldn't attack with this. If we're gonna swing all out here. We're gonna block here, block here, block here. Uh, tap this one. On red. Yeah, let's go. We get to eat all your guys with your prismatic drain. Let's go. Uh, were we drawing a thing? Send? No. But oh well. We had the 1-1 one -one flyers. Uh, yeah, see you guys for free. The interesting question is, do we keep this hand? Because, oh my god, it's a pile. We're on the draw. We have one half of the combo. We have another escape tunnel. We have a spell pace for early game interaction. We have nothing else. I feel like I want to say ship it. And I really wish I could see what the next card was. But unfortunately not meant to be. Uh, this hand seems fine. Escape tunnel. Escape tunnel gets island. Dash barons gets planes. Then we play modern age. Discard deep analysis. And then we use brainstorm. Squadron hawk with a third land. Fingers crossed. To get some value. So, but that overall means, what are we discarding? And what are we putting at the bottom? Feel like it has to be Squadron Hawk though, right? More likely, if we draw another land, we have a Brainstorm Shuffle effect. Deep Analysis is card advantage with Modern Age. Yeah, I think it has to be Squadron Hawk. <laughs> and we're against. They also multi six, right? Green walls, walls. Walls. Maybe I have to play his Ash Barons out. They're trying modern edge dig deeper. Not hopeful, but we have Swan Sandstorm for this though. 
Let's sort the match about four. Uh, oh, nearly. Nearly. Uh, let's get an island here. We kind of need to keep this escape tunnel. That's my only problem. Because we need a way to be unblockable. So I guess we can do this, try and dig through another land. So putting two on back, uh, we want to put strands back, deep analysis back. Mm, no, probably a modern age back. Let me play this. Let me get a white sauce. The only awkward thing is we can't play the tribe now. Is what it is. We have to play the white sauce, play the tribe, play the modern age, discard deep analysis. Hopefully they are a bit slow comboing, I guess. Mm, or am I supposed to discard here? I guess I'm supposed to discard here and not modern age. Okay. And then we have to hope that they don't kill us. That's basically it. They don't kill us, we kill them. Simple as. Three blue, four. And they've just got it. Do they have a wink on? They just naturally had the one of read. That's pretty annoying. Throw me a wink on, I'll concede. Um, that's a sort of wink on. This gets the phantasm. It gets the phantasm, which then gets the. Yep. Yep. What's the actual wink on? I guess I'm supposed to inside out this. Valka and Valka. Okay. Uh, so we want the mountain as opposed to an island, I guess. I don't actually know. And then we bring in two swell and sandstorms instead of uh, snackers. It is definitely not a snacker matchup. I don't know if I'm supposed to just bring in the mountain. Uh, Doesn't seem like the matchup for strands either. Like you get to stop the damage that turn or whatever, but that doesn't really do much. Do we want hydro? Um, or do we want dispel? I don't actually know, so I'm gonna go two two split. Yeah, try this. Inside out's obviously a good one there that I I, I should have just. Maybe taking it slower and just inside out with their guy and then sort of went from there. Uh, yes, I'd like to play first. Keep. So I'm going to escape tunnel here to get a white sauce for the tribe. And play tribe hold hydro, but hydro doesn't really do much. Unless the invoker and right. Or tuk tuk. So we'll play escape tunnel and then we'll pass. Go to end step. Forest for Quiriano. So I could get a white. Um yeah. So we're just gonna try and deep analysis here a bunch. We obviously can swell and sandstorm if we need to. I don't think we'll get that far as of yet. Obviously, we've got access to inside out as well. Oh no, they've got a pretty fast start as well. Uh, 
modern age. So I'm going to discard this. Then I'm going to play the island here. Double inside out is not irrelevant. Um, means we can air not only inside out our guy, we can inside out walls too. It's three. Axe burn. Four. Yeah, Axe burn, sure. Lead, sure. Larmor, Jasper, Shield Law, okay. Can we get an escape tunnel? Um, okay. I'm going to attack here. If they block here, I'll just deep analysis. If they block with the axe band, that's totally fine. We want to play land. We're going to go inside out this guy. Inside out this guy. Um, yeah. And then my only problem is now I've used two out of my four inside outs. So maybe this is the matchup for Sneaky Snacker if I'm going to inside out their guys. But I'm not convinced. Yep. Play land, play another one drop. Back for one's fine. Well, let's start by discarding this. And then I think we're gonna do this. There's an escape tunnel. I guess we go brainstorm. We put this on the bottom, this on the bottom. Oh, this on top, this on top. Shuffle here. Yeah, shuffle here. An island. Play an island. And then we can pass. No point in attacking into a 1-2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Do I access to 6 mana here? One, two, three, four. So the can play shield wall. I'm going to discard this to Madness. I just, like, with this in play, it's basically the same thing as uh, Axe Pain. So, ultimately, I'd rather just do this. If they want to have some form of interaction or whatever, that's fine by me. And turn that into blue or do whatever. Mirror Shell. Uh, no. This gives me a little time to find my... Three, six, yeah, it gives me time to find Sandstorm. So we're going to ponder. Uh, so we're going to go this, 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 and no. I'm going to discard two cards to save this. Discard this. Play this. Discard the modern age. No, I discard ponder, right? And some. Pacham! This allows me to keep the Modern Age as a backup plan. I'm hoping they've basically got nothing to do here. And the Hydroblast was in case they had some sort of interaction. Not that I, I actually don't even know what the interaction would be, but... 
So brainstorm. So if we modern age here, modern age, get this one sandstorm, discard the hydroblast. Brainstorm. We don't need both of these. Stop giving me stuff like this. Okay, so we put this on the bottom. Uh do we do we even want to shuffle any of this? Do we just put back sandstorm tribe? Play a tribe, play this land, and then attack. And this is our backup plan. And maybe I should be bringing in, keeping Snacker in if this is the case, because if we're going to sandstorm away a bunch of walls and start attacking, that's probably advised as an actual wink on. I maybe shouldn't have discarded the, uh, um, I forgot what the name of the card is. Uh, Squadron Hawk. So I'll keep the uh, Tyler's Tribe, boom, draw a card, sandstorm, probably pitch an escape tunnel, right? And it's very much, I'm going to race, you know? H hitting you for three and then five. Like, it's not really a race. It's not a mass amount of races, that's for sure. Crash and drawbridge, sure. Brainstorm. Modern Age, Squadron Hawk. Swan Do I even just... I'm going to Swan Sandstorm here. Hmm. I'm going to do this, right? Hmm. I thought this was a mistake, but I'm not really sure. Having that backup definitely feels worth it, but the backup swan sandstorm there is inside out. Let's pitch this. Yep. But the more damage we deal, the less damage we actually need to deal with the inside out combo. So there is that. Crash and drawbridge, give it everything haste, is definitely scary. But they've only got one wall, so. Draw and discard, spell pierce. So if we discard this. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so we just got this. We sack to make this unblockable. I don't even know why I did that, but oh well. Block here, block here. We got there! So maybe I am supposed to keep snackers in. Which that makes it really interesting. Hydros. I only So what did the what was the sideboard card that they had? Um Really for the life of me can't remember what that sideboard card was. Oh it was Mirror Shell Crab. That's what it was. So these aren't very useful. So maybe I'm supposed to put in. Hmm. Yeah, I'm supposed to keep the snackers in, and then try. Spell pierce less, and then a hydroblast. The only reason I'm trying to think about the hydroblast is basically it's really good against invoker. So if they go all in, all in, all in, all in, and then they go transmute, get my invoker, and I'm like hydroblast or invoker, it makes it a lot harder. Because then they have to try and go through Reaper in the Grave loops, which is just a lot worse. Um, This hand is actually reasonable because if you see these as removal spells, it's actually not the end of the world. 
These kill just relevant removal, uh, relevant creatures. Double Snacker, however, is not good without any discard outlets. Uh, you have to the next inset. Yes. Imperial Overgrown Balance. No Overgrown Balance. Uh, sack this. Get an island. Island. Circular logic again, not great. Not great without a discard outlet. Lead. Others. You got got. Uh, Modern Age is actually pretty reasonable here. Modern Age. Snacker. Play the planes as opposed to the escape tunnel here too. Shield wall, okay. I'm assuming they're getting like an axe burn or something. We have free discard on a snacker. He's pretty good. Up, oh, modern age number dos. Raw. Kind of want the deep analysis. I think I'm supposed to uh, discard the snacker. And then Modern Age, draw, island, discard the deep analysis. And then escape tunnel, probably get a second island here, and then look at double inside out next turn. Hopefully they don't have, uh, oh well I guess crash and draw bridges, really like. Axeman's fine. Four walls. Green. Green, for green, okay. They really are, like, thing in the... Let's not sack this. Island. So we flip this. Raw first. Island, we don't want the island. We don't want the planes. And flip this. Fly for four. That's 16. Really does come in useful, obviously, just churning through the deck, giving us stuff to discard. So let's inside out this. And then let's inside out this. And I should have obviously had the island. Okay. So at least we get, we get Tyler's Tribe next turn. We're going to hit them for six. Lead is... Not fine, but it's survivable. Only draw one. Draw one card. One card. Oh. So I'm going to flip quite a lot. They flipped five cards. Jesus. Into Quirion. Yep. In a leaf caller. Oh, they, oh, they get to actually play an axe bin here. Oh, Jesus. Not going to play no Roman Martins. That's less good. And then a. A uh, leaf caller here. We are not playing a leaf caller. Okay. So we want to play Tyler's Tribe. Deep analysis here. Play an island. Run a deep analysis again. Do we definitely want to swing for six? Put them at ten. We only get one interaction spell. So there are six cards in hand Axebane, Leaf Caller, Third Path, Three Unknowns. We had one, two, three, four walls here, and we have. 
six cards in the bin. Mm, I think I'm supposed to just pass. Could be wrong there. So they get to play an axe burn here, which I really awkward because we're only hitting for eight here and not ten, which is really annoying. So I feel like I want to be all okay with this. Five. Untap, sure. We do get to make a bunch of mana. Probably more than the circular logic can provide or pay for. Leaf caller, sure. Get it filter it to a blue, play the third path. Galvanic Alchemist. So they can make here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana. So let's discard a deep analysis. Discard Tyler's Tribe. Discard uh, I guess I'm supposed to shuffle first, right? Shuffle. Get um mountain. Just in case. Discard a uh, and then discard this. And then pair. I don't think they can pay for that, right? I could be wrong here, and I could probably maybe get punished for not discarding the uh, squadron hawk here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no, they can't pay for it. They can't pay for it. I should discard the squadron hawk. Oh, they didn't see. There it go, there it go. Woo! This is why this was bit, anyways. Untap, sure. I'm putting them at two here. Eleven. Do they have? Have they naturally just got the free? No, okay, they've got the transmute. Oh. Free. Turn it a blue. Turn it a blue. Third path. Um. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. Well, they had the nuts. What can you do? Um. Um, nowhere close obviously using white outsiders protection is pretty minging and I feel like it was right to do so to stop them going off and sort of stumbling. them we were clo so close as well with just natural damage which shows the power of snacker with tribe and modern age oh well we'll see you guys for round 4 hey guys welcome back here to round number 4 let's see if we can uh, go get them this seems like an easy keep to me. We've got uh, Brainstorm here. Uh, with then Escape Tunnel for the White Sauce. And the Shuffle. And Double Deep Analysis here to... Sort of ride it home. Uh, yes. Uh, well, there's naturally the White Sauce. So we have the White Sauce plus the Shuffle with the Squadron Hawk. I'm going to pitch Deep Analysis plus... Squadron Hawk here and then just draw the Squadron Hawk. And play that, get two squaddies. And then we can play tribe here plus deep analysis or potentially. And then they're attacking, sure. It's fine. So I'm going to play the island here and then I'm going to play the Tyler's tribe. And then I'm going to discard the deep analysis. Then I'm going to deep analysis ourselves. Hopefully find a strands or an inside out. Either or is fine. White out's okay. The third squadron hawk, however, is not. I would have preferred not to. But here we are. I'm going to hopefully utilize the squadron hawk as a chump blocker. Along with my Tyler's tribe to uh, 
take something out without losing my tiger stripe. That's sort of the plan. And no attacks, I like it. That's what I'm here for. Modern age is great. Really awkward with the... They would like to play the Squadron Hawk, but I guess we're supposed to... Basic land cycle here. Get a... Probably a snow cover plains. No, get an island here, right? Yeah, we get an island. What are we talking about? We get an island. And then we play the Modern Age, discard a Squadron Hawk. Um, and then we have Circular Logical. Spell Pierce. So do we... I guess we discard the White out, right? Because we want to keep the Squadron Hawks just in case. So we have Spell Pierce here. We have Circular Logic. They have a lot of options. We have also quite a lot of cards. Yeah. Like we're on 16 life here. They're not attacking us. The deck is just not functioning for them. Uh, escape turn number two. So we'll discard the Squadron Hawk. We will ponder. Snacker. Snacker. Deep analysis. Ash Barons. Do we want any of these? I feel like Snacker's fine though, right? Mm, is it fine? We probably just want deep analysis. Actually, we probably want a shop. Well, we got a Snacker anyways. So let's play body. Yes. Yes, we've got none. Play escape tunnel. Um, and then we'll pass. Right. I think passing's fine. Well, I think. Do I want to attack for one? I feel like I want to attack for one. Yeah. We have blockers, um, we have circular logic or spell piece here as well, so. I don't think I want another white sauce either. I do love a bit of no attacks. Uh, sack, get a basic. A basic island. Doosh. Inside out, let's go. So let's do this. We have circular logic plus spell. So what they're on 19. We can use the white out though to do a lot of it, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Plus the cards in hand. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to go for this. Attack. Cancel that. And they just started discarding cards there as well. Snacker. I do end up showing them the snackers, but I think I'm only fine with that. Snacker. That nine. Body. Twelve. Um. White out pitch the planes. 17. Just got the top land. Wedding. Well, 21 return. I just have no idea what their cards are in hand if. Oh, please. If they have Galv Blast plus Lightning Bolt plus, I don't even know, Fire Blast, I guess. Yep. So, wait, we managed to get that. Nice. So, we want all of these Fermental Blast, Hydro Blast. 
right? Uh, it's not snack a match up. I don't think it's white. Oh, uh. Um, white out deep analysis all seem pretty miserable. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. I do think the uh mono red matchup seems relatively okay. Obviously, you've got prismatic strands, which is also a great card. Squad and Hawk again for another white card for that. You've got um. What's the other cards? You've obviously Blue Metal Blast, Hydros, and your combos. Just like, go get them. Um, I feel like we can keep this. It's a bit medium, but it definitely can just get people. But we do need to hope that their hands aren't as broken as ours. Okay. So do I get Island here or do I get Planes? I guess it depends on what they do here, right? Synth. They're digging for another land here. Goodbye. That's all they not. Nah. Okay. Yep. Makes circular logic a lot worse. I'm going to get a island here so I can ponder. And then this one will circle is pretty bad modern age. Uh, I'm gonna any order shuffle. You got a modern age. Chop. Yep. Hit for one. That is totally fine. So we've shuffled here and blew a mental blast. I'm gonna cycle this, get a planes. And then I'm gonna play the modern age. Do your mate, team mate, team mate, team mate, team mate, team mate, team mate. Let's go. Spell pierce. Um, circular logic. I kind of feel like circular logic's the, the card here, right? Um is it? Yeah. Circular logic's pretty poor here. It's a bit poor. Implement your uh, old author. Oh, crack. Oh, that's good. Yep. The fact that they had to manually crack that was pretty good. Tap your relic. Ash Brown is gone. It was for 3 to 14. Yep. Draw. Ponder. Discard. I feel like it might be the modern age actually. No, it could be the inside out, right? Yeah, I think it's inside out. We don't need a second copy of that. Ponder. Strands Deep Analysis. Hydroblast. I would like a land, but I think all these cards are pretty powerful. No. Hmm. And then I think do I press yes here? I think I'm okay with strands gone. Five, six, it's seven. I would like more lands, but I can't really be that. Bothered. Galv blast my face. Ow. Galv blast my face. Oh, really? Good. Okay. They'd have to kill us this turn, really. Which they could do with Cold Author plus Bushwhacker. Bolt. Bushwhacker. Goblin Grenade. Yeah. That works. That works. Yeah. Uh, I think circular logic doesn't really work that well. Do 
Dispel, bring in the white out. Seems fine. So we're taking the play here. We obviously can't keep this hand. We, excuse me, we can keep this hand. We probably want to get rid of the Ponder over the Modern Age, right? I'm just going to play Ponder. Um, I feel like this isn't worth shuffling away, especially when we draw one Modern Age at the top. Relic's fine. I don't really care too much. Planes. Discard. We'll discard Island here. And then we have this Modern Age to sort of start doing its thing. Chop. And that's Mingan. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I need these Modern Ages to turn pretty quickly. Escape tunnel, draw discard. I don't need a second escape tunnel. We'll play the modern age. Blue metal blast is great. Rob that. And then this is gonna flip hopefully and we'll uh, probably have a kill this or kill whatever the player, like if the player killed author or something. Synth is not what I'm thinking. Bushwhacker. Now that's sort of what I'm thinking, Cameron. Yep. Tap relic. Shot. Sure. Bit flooded. Yep. We'll take three. Got fifteen. Strands. Strands seems like a free discard. Raw. <laughs> discard. Uh, play escape tunnel. Wait, we need one of the white creatures though. This is the problem. We do have prismatic strands though to uh, protect here. Protect a vector glider with the try and bolt it, for example. Or galv blast it. Uh, exile. Yeah. At least we got rid of the. Yes. Do I want to pitch this? Probably not. I'll probably just get except two vector gliders. Squaddy's great here. Hawk, yes. Get three more hawks. Okay. And then away we go. Do we start attacking? Two, four, five. I'm going to say, no, I'm going to say no. Especially this time when we can't strands. If I had the strands in the bin here, I would have. Bolt me. Okay. I really must have a lot of damage in hand. So I need to hope that we can uh, don't die here. I'll probably have to escape tunnel here for white too. For a white sauce, that is. Chain lightning made on nine. Okay. Would like to kill this. Get a uh, white sauce. Ponder. Let's be ponder here. Gav blast me, put me to five with one card in hand. Okay. Well, this is a nine. Can I ponder now? Uh, I don't want any lands. Go full. White out. Um, do I attack? I don't think I do because I can actually not die because of the thing without strands in. Crack the cincher, which is also annoying because it triggers this. 
Well, do the rebirth. Uh oh. Come back. So we got block, block, block. Okay. And then we have to strands here, right? Did they get a squeeze a bolt in? Okay. Tireless tribe. Let's play Tireless tribe. Let's play squaddy. Uh, use squad dogs, but yes. I don't even know why I pressed yes, because all of them are in blur. And then pass. So we have to hope they don't have double bolt here uh, and they attack all out and we can then tireless tribe kill them. Yeah. Don't draw a burn spell. That's only two damage. So let's hope they don't have a lightning bolt in hand. This guy is. Uh, goblin grenades. How did I know that was going to happen? How did I know that was going to happen? Hello? No. I went falling for a hydro tick. This is rather annoying. Oh well. I jinxed myself saying it was a good matchup. Uh, we only see we seen two prismatic strands and very little white creatures. Maybe it was an awkward hand to keep. Oh well. See you guys for the fifth round. Hey guys, welcome back here to the fifth and final round. We're against Yux, who was last on the challenge. He was playing walls. I'm fine keeping this hand. I'm going to brainstorm here on one here and then either draw out of it with Modern Age or use a uh, Squadron Hog. They are not on walls now. Another Mono Red. So we want to probably pitch, pitch, draw the island. No, I want to search for an island probably here. Search for an island, play the island ponder. Yes. White out tie the stripe sneaky snacker. Uh, this, 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 no. Yes. We want to keep all them cards, I think, on top. And we want to... Hmm. Oh, no. Probably want to just play a tribe here. Play the Modern Age. Draw the white out, discard the snacker, and then pass. Hope they just attack all out and don't kill us. Probably where I'm at. Yes. Yes. Uh, I would like some protection, so I'm not going to block. Chain lightning, my face. Okay. New. Draw. Draw. I just got the ash parents here. Okay. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, one, two. Okay. I'll take the three, two. Um, I think the deck's actually pretty solid. Uh, I think tribe's pretty solid in general. Um, I think the sort of 
Meta game for Snackers, probably not good enough. What I would actually think is, weirdly enough, I actually think the Snacker might be worth it in the sideboard. And that might be a bit controversial. But I think it allows, a, like, a backup plan for the deck. Like, as you've seen against that Walls combo, it really was... Um, it really does shine against them, like, sort of grindy decks. I know, obviously, Walls wasn't a grindy deck, but the fact that you can Sandstorm that and then turn it into, like, a grindy kill them quickly if you're digging for your combo because you're using Inside Out as... Um, what are you using Inside Out as? A removal spell. So, yeah, I think deck's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you do like this deck, do like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and do not forget to hit that notification bell so you do not miss an upload. And check out Mana Traders. Check out the code in the description for 10% off for the first two months. Peace.